In this video, we're going to demonstrate how PowerWF can create Service Manager scheduled workflows. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to create a new um, workflow for Service Manager. I'm going to say mail proc report. And I'm going to make this uh, <laughs> very short, um, mostly for video length. Um, you would obviously wouldn't do that in the real world. So I'm going to like every hello world example we do, we use our famous uh, get procs first five. You know, I'm gonna make this a little longer. Um, and then let's select some data. This is kind of nice. You can go over here and just hold the control key and pick the columns of information you'd like to um, to see. So, and let's execute it. So that looks pretty good. We'll insert that. Now for my report, what I want to do is I want to put it in HTML. So I'm going to look for something that says HTML. I'm going to say, oh, I'm going to use this Windows workflow activity here. I convert data. And I'm going to give it a title, process, but. And for testing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for, I want to just, you know, use our debugger to make sure that this is doing what I want. So I'm going to run this. So what I'm doing is I'm getting my process information format in HTML and I'm just throwing it into a web browser to make sure that everything looks pretty good. And that looks pretty uh, decent. So uh, what I'm going to do now is kind of cheat. I'm going to um, delete that activity. And I'm going to jump over here with my mail that's already been filled in and paste it. Because clearly, if I put a web browser on the server, that wouldn't work out. So, uh, and oops. Next thing we need to do is we need to take this body and we're going to bind it to the output of the HTML. Somewhere of like setting the variable. And we know that the format is going to be HTML. And I'm going to run this one more time to make sure. Jump over here to my inbox. Um, and I believe that's the one we just ran. So if I look here, you can see my HTML report being mailed to my uh, Hotmail account. So the next step is let's make a management pack. So now we're going to go over. And creating a management pack is as simple as filling out a wizard. So we're going to say create management pack. I'm going to type in my server address. I'm going to use my default credentials. And since we filled uh, many of these options out during um, the creation of the workflow, we don't really have to fill them out again, but it does give you an opportunity to change them. So now we're deploying this workflow um, up into our service manager remotely. Uh, we've actually generated the management pack on the fly, installed and copied all the appropriate files over there. So you, here you can see the PROC report and um, give it a few seconds for it to uh, run. We're doing these videos. Uh, seems like an eternity to wait for it. Oh, well, looks like it's run several times. So let's jump over um, here and see what we got. And here now we see all the processes running on my uh, SCM um, server and mail to my box. So in this video, just to recap, we're combining PowerShell with Windows Workflow to accomplish our task, and we've automatically generated a management pack for Service Manager, and then remotely deployed it. Thanks for watching.